one. Once upon a time, a mother pig had three little pigs. This should have been a happy time, but the place where she lived was horrible. They lived with hundreds of other unhappy pigs in a crowded building on Wolf Farms Incorporated. The noise, the smell, the crowding, and the fear never went away. The mother pig, like all pigs, was very smart. She loved her babies and wanted a better life for them. I am planning our escape. You must be in healthy shape. Exercise, eat all your slop. We'll have to run until we drop. Why can't we just go today? I'd really like to go away. You are too small to run so far, being the age and size you are. I'll eat a lot so I can grow, and when I'm big and strong, we'll go. We can't wait too long, my sweet pig, or Mr. Wolf will see you're big. What will happen to us then? Will we be moved to a new pen? He'll take you all, one by one. Just be ready for us to run. Scene 2 One day, Mr. Wolf made a mistake. The mother pig and the three little pigs ran and ran for their lives. <laughs> Then they heard Mr. Wolf yelling for them to come back. It's better if we split apart. I love you all. Be very smart. I love you all so very much. I wish that we could keep in touch. I love you, Mother. I'll run so fast, but I am worried how long we'll last. I love you, brothers, all my life. Stay free. Be fast. Avoid the knife. The pigs ran in four different directions. The farmer raced after the mother pig. Scene three. After many days had passed, the first pig decided it was safe to build a home. When a truck drove by, something bounced out the back. The truck kept going. A bale of straw fell off that truck. What a marvelous piece of luck. I can make a house of hay and live there till I'm old and gray. So he did. Far away, the second pig also decided to build a house. I have so many sticks of wood that I can make something good. I will build a house today and live here till I'm old and gray. So he did. Farther away still, the third little pig, who had run the most of all, came to a small village. She saw a cow. I need to rest. What is this place? I am so tired of the chase. This is Animal Rescue Farm. Is someone trying to do you harm? Scene 4 Mr. Wolf is after me. All I want is to be free. I escaped the crowded dairy. Now I live where it is airy. If I have a sweet newborn, I won't ever have to mourn. I'll keep my calf as he grows. Lick his face and keep him close. My milk is for my calf to drink, which is nature's way, I think. I won't have to give and give until I can no longer live. That is wonderful to hear, but my life is filled with fear. It is safe here, you will see. Come along and follow me. 
So the cow introduced the third little pig to all the animals who lived on the rescue farm. Everyone had a story. The horse used to pull tourists in a beautiful cart all around a big city. The pavement was very hard on his hooves and legs. When he became lame, his owner decided to sell him. I would have been pet food or glue, but instead I was rescued. This sounds like such a perfect place for me to live. Is there space? If you want to, you can stay. I have some bricks for you today. Not too many, just a few. That's so wonderful. Thank you. When Cat was born, she had two children and five brothers and sisters to play with, but then her owners gave her away. Her new owner had a veterinarian pull out her claws. Wow! Then they sent me to the pound. I was lucky to be found. I'm so very glad you're here. I plan to live somewhere near. I can add bricks to your batch. Sorry though, they just don't match. Thank you for every single brick. Together, I'll make a house that's thick. Cow took the third little pig to meet Giraffe, who was born in a zoo. It was crowded, lonely, and dirty. Visitors yelled and teased, and sometimes threw garbage into his cage. When too many animals got sick, the zoo was closed. I was scared to leave the home I knew, but the best thing that happened was my rescue. Thank you for every single brick. Together, they'll make a house that's thick. Rabbit was born in a breeding farm. There were hundreds of rabbits crowded together. When the breeder decided it was time to turn the animals into fur coats, Rabbit was rescued. Rabbit gave the third little pig some bricks. Thank you for every single brick. Together they'll make a house that's thick. Mother Elephant was born in Africa, but when she was a baby, most of her herd was killed for ivory and meat. She was sold to a renaissance fair. They chained her up in a tiny room with a cement floor, except when she was giving people rides. Then she had her legs shackled and walked around and around in a circle. I hated spending my life with a chain. I missed mud baths and long walks on the plain. I was rescued before my baby arrived. We were lucky that we both survived. Mother Elephant gave the third little pig some bricks. Baby Elephant gave her a door. Thank you for every single brick. Together they'll make a house that's thick. Thank you also for the door. I didn't think of that before. When Cow told her they were going to meet Tiger, she was frightened. Tiger? Won't she try to eat me? Don't worry. She is very old. She's wise and has a heart of gold. Tiger moved slowly. Her body was covered in scars. She had been trapped in India and almost died on the journey across the ocean where she was sold to a circus. They kept her in a small box for most of the day and part of the night. But when audiences came, she was forced out into a big cage with other angry, frightened tigers. The noise and the lights made her head and eyes hurt. If she didn't do the tricks, she was punished. They made me jump through a hoop until I burned my tail. I refused to do tricks, so they put me up for sale. I live here now in peace and quiet. Don't be afraid, I have a special diet. Tiger gave the third pig some windows. The third pig built a lovely brick house. The roof was made of different colors, but it was cozy and warm. 
Most importantly, it was strong. Scene 5 The first little pig was happy living in his house of straw until one day he heard a knock at the door. I wasn't expecting a visit. Hello, who is it? Mr. Wolf, and I insist you come with me and don't resist. You know exactly who I am. Let me in, you piece of ham. Never ever let me be. All I want is to be free. You will be bacon, roast, and pork. Where you belong is on my fork. I will fight. Go away. I won't come. Here I stay. Then I will stab and I will grab and I will tear your house down. Mr. Wolf took a large garden fork and started ripping down the straw house. Straw flew everywhere. The first little pig knew Mr. Wolf would be inside soon, so the little pig ran out the back door and kept running. One day he came to a stick house. It was his brother's, the second little pig. I'm so happy to see you're all right. Mr. Wolf gave us all such a fright. He knocked down my house. I still have nowhere to go. It isn't much, but it's still such a blow. You can stay here with me. I'll share what I own. I'm glad that you found me. Now I'm not alone. The pigs were very happy until there was a knock at the door. I wasn't expecting a visit. Hello, who is it? Mr. Wolf, and I insist you come with me and don't resist. You know exactly who I am. Let me in, you piece of ham. Never, ever let us be. All we want to be is free. What you will be is bacon, pork, and roast. Now let me in, or your house is toast. Go away! Here we stay! Then I will set this house on fire. You will cook when the flames get higher. Mr. Wolf took out matches and lit the stick house on fire. Flames spread everywhere. The pigs knew they were doomed so they ran out the back door and kept running. Scene 6 One day they came to Animal Rescue Village. Cow found them and brought them to the third little pig's house. She hugged them and invited them to stay. They were all happy until one day there was a knock at the door. I wasn't expecting a visit. Hello, who is it? Mr. Wolf and I insist you come with me and don't resist. You know exactly who I am. Let me in, you piece of ham. Never! Never let us be! All we want is to be free! What you will be is pork, ham, and bacon. Now let me in, you will be taken. Go away! Here we stay! My machine will boom and bricks will zoom and I will knock your house down. Mr. Wolf came back with a construction worker and a large boom. Just when the worker was going to swing the heavy metal ball into the little pig's house, Rabbit appeared. Stop! Leave her! I will stop! I'll give you such a bump! A rabbit? Too weak. He shouldn't even speak. Are you sure? His legs have thrust. But I will fight him if we must. Swing the ball! Knock down the wall! Stop! You have no right! Leave now, or I will bite. Meow. A cat, too little to stop us. All she can do is mock us. Are you sure? She seems so fast. 
I'd walk away if I was asked. Swing the ball. Knock down the wall. Stop! You are nothing but a bully. I'll pull down the machine's pulley. A giraffe. She's much too thin. Our machine will always win. Are you sure? She's awfully lanky. I wouldn't like to make her cranky. Swing the ball. Knock down the wall. Stop! Don't touch a single brick, or you will learn how I can kick. A horse? He's much too lame. Just ignore his foolish claim. Are you sure? He has strong hooves. He may be lame, but he has moves. Swing the ball. Knock down the wall. Stop. It's time to call it quits, or I will tear you both to bits. A tiger? She's much too frail. Look at her scars and wretched tail. Are you sure? Look at her claw, and just look at her powerful jaw. Swing the ball. Knock down the wall. No, oh, I will make you both go splat when I run and knock you flat. A baby elephant? He's much too young. He should learn to curb his tongue. Are you sure? He looks so mad. Giving up is not so bad. Swing the ball. Knock down the wall. Stop! Your number will be up when I crush you like a cup. A mother elephant's much too protective. Her calf will make her ineffective. Are you sure? She looks quite strong. I really think you may be wrong. Swing the ball. Knock down the wall. You may think we are undone. You might defeat us one by one. Together, we can really fight. Thump, kick, gore, claw, and bite. We can flatten and pull down. We can crush you to the ground. Quit, you don't pay me enough. Fight them alone if you're so tough. Okay, I'll go. I'm not that dumb. There are plenty more pigs where you come from. Scene 7 After thanking all of her friends and celebrating with tea and snacks, the three little pigs settled down for the night in their cozy brick house. I'm so grateful for our friends. They are heroes to the end. Now we can live without harm, but not the pigs at Wolf Farm. And all the cats still at the pound. The elephants walking round and round. Circus animals forced onto stages. Zoo animals suffering in small cages. Rabbits waiting to be made into coats. Thank goodness for Animal Rescue Village. Suddenly, there was a knock at the door. The three little pigs looked at each other. I wasn't expecting a visit. Hello, who is it? Hello, I don't mean to be a bother. It's just me, your ever-loving mother. Mother! Mother! mother, mother, mother. The three little pigs ran out to hug and kiss their mother. <laughs>